What's up gamers, it's Dream Killers representing Madden Mastermind. Hope everybody's doing well today. If you like the name of the jam in the background, of course it's Ninth Wonder again. Name of the jam's called In the World, and it's so soulful. Wouldn't you agree? We're out here using the Indianapolis Colts, getting off to a rough start. Philadelphia Eagles is the opponent. He went right downfield on me. Pretty embarrassing, actually. And I'm out here using the Bill Walsh under center spread, blueprint defense. I'm still working on the offensive guy. I got delayed, of course. It will be out this week, though. I did say that in last week's video. It will be out this week at some point. So please be patient with me. I, again, man, sometimes I just lose focus as far as this Madden thing goes with this other stuff going on. So please excuse me one last time, and it will come out this week. So getting into the game, this is a pretty good game here. The opponent definitely had a decent scheme, was seriously run committing. Uh, he, he, and he picked a lot of good times to run commit. You can see here he's getting me down third and goal run commits again. And then on fourth down, man, I got the separation, but I get that crazy animation when I go for the catch. So that was a huge stop for him because literally I only got the, the ball one time in the first half. And that really is going to hurt my scenario going into halftime considering he gets the ball. Or actually, I get the ball coming out after half, but, you know, again, only holding the ball once. That's like some mutt stuff. And I really did it to myself trying to control the clock. So that's something, again, I talk about that a lot with trying to control the clock. That was a good little heater there. Another good heater. But then check this crap out. Third and a bazillion. I know right where he's going. He had that same round on the field last time, but I blow it. And now, of course, with pressure in his face, he dots me up in basically what turned out to be double coverage there. So that's unreal. So I'm down 14 nothing going into halftime. But what I was getting to is that, you know, clock control is definitely important as long as you're putting points on the board. So one thing, one lesson I learned right there, it's like as close as I was to the end zone, I probably should have just kicked the field goal there and at least been, you know, somewhat in the game. But, you know, having that goose egg on the on the board after half is definitely not a no bueno. And a couple plays ago, he pass committed. I don't know why that wasn't something for me right there. I mean, that should have been a freaking touchdown. He left it wide open, but I messed up. Excuse me, my annoying phone was ringing. And then look at this. I just get greedy. Should have never threw that pass. I knew. I mean, he was running man coverage over there a lot, so I should have just threw the stupid hitch as usual, but I didn't. So now, again, still with the goose egg on the board, middle, well, you know, half the third quarter, and we still got enough time to come back, but there we go. We finally sent some heaters. We were sending from the right or left a lot, and so we switched it up and started mixing it up better, which actually helped me out, which was something I wish I would have adjusted to in the first half because a lot of his passes were going to the left uh, because of all my blitzing. So that helped me out. So from now f moving forward, I feel good to be able to stop him. It's just a matter of being able to get on the board and boost my confidence up. And Indianapolis, whatever. Again, I still think Dallas. I mean, the more I go through people's depth charts, I mean, I'm sure Seattle, Denver, and uh, the 49ers, you know, I know they got really good Madden teams. But I got to say, Dallas is up there, man, because all, like, the attributes, like, Indianapolis has some good people. But, like, on defense, like, they're slow. They don't have anybody that's hitting. Uh, like, if they had a heart rating, I swear Dallas's would be up to the top. But Indianapolis just didn't have the heart. Um... But anyway, we're trying to make do with what we got. I know they're a good squad. I mean, Andrew Luck's a beast and obviously Reggie Wayne in the crew. But I don't know. I just couldn't get them working. I just wasn't feeling good anyway. So, we again, we were having I mean, You guys can see here in the video, like, we had good good pressure. Actually punted us the ball again here. Two-minute warning stuff. And, you know, again, with that stupid two-point conversion, that's another thing I should have went for. He pass committed again right there. That should have been a touchdown. But for some reason, the pass was bad. And Reggie Wayne got held up, held up before he could actually, you know, keep his momentum going forward. So now we're having to fight for the touchdown again. He was definitely tough on the goal line. There goes that separation again. But nonetheless, we punch it in finally. And then the biggest play of the game right here. Oh my God, I blow it. I had the separation on the outside on the hitches, but I just couldn't do anything. So anyway, we tried kicking on sides, even though I had my timeouts. I figured I needed to. And first play out the gate. I'm trying to hit stick with everybody and. He just jukes on me. Ugh, that's frustrating. So now the game's out of reach. You guys can tell here I'm about to take this L like a man. But just trying to finish it up here. I was going to see if I could get in field goal range, but then I got greedy again. You guys are going to see right there. Boom. Took the pick. I should have maybe tried, you know, kicking a field goal, kicking on sides and trying that deal. But I didn't. I'm Dream Killers from Mad Mastermind. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, I know it's a short one, but... Just don't have enough time right now. But hope again, hit the like button if you enjoyed, and we'll catch you guys again tomorrow.